and they're away and racing slowest out there was Taepyong fighter round empire has gone back as well along with Villa Rica Bestero away to the fastest start on the inside captain time two and Guk they find looking to work around from the outside Hidden Blade, Argo Majok, they're side by side. Wider and keen is Mirei Tower. Widest of all is Hwasaboon. Then it's Taepyong Fighter back to the fence, just leading two. Those being Villa Rica in the back mark around Empire. No more than eight lengths top to tail, though, as they come past the four furlong pole, beginning the turn. Best arrow leading out by a length and a half. Onto the outside, Gukde Fighter, who now gets closer. Then it's Captain Time, Hidden Blade. And uh, then to the outside is Argo Majok, followed by Taepyong Fighter, the grey making ground on the rail. Next came Villa Rica, then it is widest Hwasaboon. Between those, Millet Tower, Rowan Empire is going to have to go wide to try and find a run. They head into the straight there, Best Arrow did just drift a little bit wide, took Gukde Fighter wide as well to the inside, Captain Time and Taepyong Fighter, four in a line with 300 to travel. Gukde Fighter, Best Arrow rallies again, Captain Time as well. They shake off Taepyong Fighter, but it's Gukde Fighter down the outside, goes to the lead in the final furlong. Best Arrow fighting back up on the inside, Captain Time running on, but Gukde Fighter finds more, pulls clear, Gukde Fighter. Wins it. Second, best arrow. Third, Captain Time. Gokte Fighter, Moon Jung Goon for trainer Che Bong Ju and owner Lim Han Young, a three year old cult. He is by Freedom Child. He's racing for the seventh time. He's got his third career win. He comes in at odds of, or at a price of 670. He's won it pretty easy for three and a half lengths on the line. Best Aero second, Captain Time was third. They were followed in by Taepyong Fighter, Hidden Blade, Argo Majok, and Hwasa Boon. Then came Round Empire, Mire 